Welcome, everybody. Thank you for watching. My name is Eric Coolyard, and I'm very excited to introduce you today to my Kung Fu master, Master Zhao Ji Long. Um, I've been training with him for about three and a half years. I'm his disciple, and uh, I've learned a lot of really crazy, interesting, weird things from him, like pressure point striking. For those people who have seen Kill Bill, five-point palm exploding heart technique, stuff like that, really weird stuff, um, but also really practical stuff. Um, and and what, I, what I'm hoping to talk about with Master Zhao today is um, his thoughts on the, world of, on the world of confidence, on the world of courage, and what allows him to do that, and what does that have to do with his Kung Fu practice. Um, but just to introduce you all to Master Zhao, he's been training Kung Fu and Qigong since he was four years old. Um, he also lived in Australia for about 12 years, so he speaks English this uh, much, a uh, little bit. And uh, let's see, he's a he's a TV show host in China of a really popular show called Experiencing Real Kung Fu, which we worked on together. Uh, my job is basically to get my ass kicked by a bunch of Kung Fu masters, and Master Zhao um, would fight with those masters as well. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm just. Master Zhao, I'm curious to know, what do you think is the link between Kung Fu and courage? Um, okay, in China there's a saying called Yi uh, Gao Ren Dan Da, Dan Da Yi Gong Gao, which means if you have trained yourself really well and you have good power through your training, and then you become uh, brave. And the more you brave you are, the better Kung Fu you're going to get from this braveness. So it's like a cycle. Yeah. So um, you train your skill to be better, and you get more courage. And the reason you get more courage is you have good skill, and the result after uh, you become brave, you get more skills. Yeah, it's uh, like a good life cycle. What do you think is the best way for somebody to become more brave, more yes. courageous? Yes. Okay, first thing is um, train, train really hard. Kung Fu, uh, internal Kung Fu training. Let's uh, say uh, um, you can do a, a meditation, a standing meditation. You can do uh, a lot of uh, slow motion movements mm -hmm. to uh, gain that power again. So yeah. firstly, uh, it's like charging your mobile phone. Uh, you charge it up, that's the first. And after you get that power, what you do next is to just just try to do something that you are feared of. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you fear of talk talk with uh, women, just go out and talk with them. Yeah. You give yourself a plan. Like I need to talk with three uh, strange women uh, every day for the next month. Yeah, just do something like that. And after, say, a month, yeah, you will not be scared anymore. Yeah. So once you are not scared, and because you, by the time you're doing that training, your power also increases. Yeah. So by the end of the day, you will have a bigger gut, and at the same time, you have more skills, right? Yeah. And that braveness will increase your skill to the next level. And then you have more braveness, and the cycle, a good cycle begins. One thing that's been that's been really weird for me is I started training kung fu and qigong with Master Zhao because I just think it's cool, I think it's fun, I think it's interesting. Yes, um, it but I didn't really know how much it would link to my everyday life and how much this training would transform me as a as a human being, not just as a fighter. Yes. Um, and the reality is I've never been in a fight in the street where somebody like attacked me or in a bar or anything like that. I mean, I've done plenty of sparring and that sort of thing. Yeah. But I'll probably, I mean, at this point, I've never been in a fight like that. I doubt I ever will get in a fight like that. But the training that I do is not only helpful for fighting, but it's also can be applied to my life. What I love about how you talk about this is like you talk about, Master Zhao always talks about being a badass. Yeah, well, but, you have to. Yeah, but what's, but what's behind this, all this badassery is always making the world a better place. It's always yeah. about compassion in a certain way. Exactly. It's like a compassionate kind of badass. Yeah. Uh, it's not just about being an asshole. It's about making the world better by using our strength, using our power, and not letting people walk all over us. But what I'm curious to hear from you is, 
what do you, how do you recommend somebody goes from being a nice guy to being a badass, a compassionate badass? Um, the first thing uh, you need to do is to tell them that a lot of great things in mm -hmm. the world are done by badasses. Mm -hmm. There are lots and lots of emperors yeah. in China. Can you give, who's, who's your favorite badass in all of history? Oh, I, I, <laughs> I, got, I got a few in my mind. Actually. That was uh, uh, the gr greatest thing, uh, 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 sorry, that was the greatest emperor in the entire Chinese history. His name is Li Shimin. Okay. You know him? No, I don't know him. You should know him. <laughs> I'm his follower. Okay. Yeah, he's the second emperor of the Tang Dynasty. Okay. Okay. So what he did, he killed his, he has, he has two brothers, mm -hmm. right? He killed them by hands. Whoa. Right? And to be in that position, uh, to be, uh, to be the next emperor of, mm -hmm. uh, of after his father. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he killed his two brothers uh, by hands and very bad, in a very bad in a emotion. I don't know. It's disgusting. But then, after this guy became uh, the emperor, okay, and he he really treats people really really well, mm -hmm. and people at that time in China, whoever li live in China, had very good life, and the people in live in the capital city mm -hmm. are very wealthy, and back then there's no corruption because everyone's rich. And mm -hmm. everyone's happy. And there are many businesses, many business opportunities for you to make money. And many investors, pre-angel, angel investors, <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, like, like that. Yeah, yeah. There are many people, many ways to make money. Yeah. If you want money, you go make it. There's, there are no restrictions. And at night, nobody shuts the door. Nobody mm -hmm. shuts mm -hmm. the door. Yeah. Th there's no thief. There's no thief. There's, because you are rich, you don't need to be a yeah. thief. So all this because the emperor was a huge badass. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's a badass. Yeah. He did a lot of bad things to his brothers okay. and even to his father. Yeah. He pushes his father away, uh, kind of lock his father in, in, not a prison, like a little smaller palace. Yeah. yeah. And he <laughs> lives in the big one. Doesn't right? sound so bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. He did a lot of bad things to yeah. his brothers. And yeah. Uh, but he did a lot of good things yeah. to people, and people love him. I love okay. Him. So step one from, from going to a nice guy to being a badass is to educate yourself and realize that badasses have done a lot of tight shit historically. Yes. Okay, what's step number two? Step number two is to practice. To be a badass, uh, especially to be a badass with good heart. Yeah. You have to manage the, uh, like, uh, the flame dial. You have to manage the flame dial, right? If sometimes if this guy, you, you love him, right? You, you want to help him, but you, you, you try to do it in a bad way to make him remember. But if the flame dial, if you, you, you do it too high, you might hurt him. You might, might hurt him or her heart, mm -hmm. okay? And that damage will last very long, okay? That's gonna be too much. But if you don't give enough power. If your flame dial is too low, you know, they will forget. They will forget after a few days. Yeah. Yeah, and that memory is not strong enough. So it's uh, depending on your wisdom, how bad you become. It's upon the situation. So you need to practice. You need to practice with some friends who is already a good-hearted badass. So you, 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 you go muck around with them, and uh, yeah, whenever you want to play badass and ask this friend to, f to uh, be with you and you perform like a badass and let this guy to check if you are bad enough or you, you um, like over it yeah, yeah. Yeah, too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let him to help you to adjust. And one day after practice, you're going to find the feeling and you just use that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just use, use that feeling, you know? So, so what are some ways that people can practice? You talked about earlier, like, just finding things that scare you and doing that. What else? Or is that, is that the main way? Yeah, just, Im just use your imagination. Just be bad, you know, yeah. but with good heart. The reason you'll be bad is you want to make good things happen. Once you have, as long as you have that 
kind of heart and that kind of aim, yeah. anything you do won't be too bad and will be helpful. And your friend might be angry, but eventually, when he understands, yeah. he loves you. Yeah. So, so Master Zhao is here visiting the University of Michigan for a, a residency and teaching a bunch of different classes. Yes. And uh, one of the classes we were teaching today, you were talking about, um, you were talking about like a personal consciousness versus a greater consciousness, and how, uh, like working towards the personal consciousness, we have a tendency to. Um, succumb to the pressures of society to you know get, go to a good school and get good grades and get a good job yeah. and be good boys and girls yeah. um, and then you were talking about that versus the bigger consciousness or something like that but in, could you could you could you talk about that again okay sure <coughs> so for uh, many people um, who study in great universities uh, such as uh, the this University of Michigan such as Peking University in China, mm. such as uh, Sydney University and uh, or like UTS, uh, where I was studying, it's called the University of Technology, Sydney. Uh, big universities like that. Uh, there are many in very smart students. Mm. And they study really hard and they study really well. And they learn, pick up things really quick, have very good logic, yeah, very good heart. And these people uh, they really want to do something, uh, want to make a difference to their lives, even to the world. But it is very important how you choose your subject. If you choose something which is highly demand uh, to the market, yeah. Say, let's say uh, when I was uh, when I was in my high school and many uh, before I went to university in China, my dad was working as a policeman, right? And uh, back then, policemen had, had a lot of power and it was a very good job. And uh, met, uh, there was a shortage of policemen. So many of my classmates went to a uh, police college. Mm -hmm. They fight uh, to be a policeman. Because so, many of them at, because so many of them in that year went to the college and they wanted to uh, be a policeman after they graduate. Mm -hmm. but Actually, after they graduate, there are too many policemen students, but there, there were not, not enough jobs. So some of them, they get a job as a security guard. Yeah, cannot compare with a policeman. It's yeah. totally different. Yeah, some yeah. of them, they even went to be a gunster because they, they learned how to fight, and they learned how to uh, anti-police. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay? And they became criminals. Yeah, it's like that. You know, uh, if you work with the market, market changes all the time. Sometimes if you, you are lucky, yeah, you make some more money. Sometimes if you are unlucky, you don't get a job. But the thing is, no matter how much money you make, if the job, what you're doing, you don't like it. At night, it's very hard for you to sleep. You know why? Because you just memorize, just remember today, from morning, and tonight, everyone I talk with, everything I do, is not really what I like. Even I make a lot of money, even people respect, respect me, and even people, um, many people underneath of me, and they say, hi boss, whatever the fuck, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. But it's, that's, not the, that's not the main thing. My heart is not comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, so how to make your heart, I mean, how to make yourself comfortable is very important. If you can open your heart, if you, ca you can talk with yourself to see what you really like. And even more from Kung Fu training, if you gain more power, you gain more understanding of yourself, yeah. you will know your destiny. Once you know your destiny, you work with your destiny. You choose a major which helps you to uh, compete uh, you choose a major which helps your destiny okay yeah. and you just focus on that and uh, after you graduate you get a job you, or you start a business related to your destiny and you keep working on that yeah and sometimes you even you make little money and sometimes you will even you lose money and you wouldn't mind mm -hmm. this is something you really love to do right you wouldn't mind 
many many of you I believe will spend a lot of money on, on your hobbies, right? If you work, if you work on something you really love, it's like you, you play with your hobbies every day. Mm -hmm. Imagine how much happiness you're gonna receive. And no matter the industry going up or industry goes down, and you enjoy yourself. You enjoy the environment. And furthermore, because of that, you become more attractive. Females or whatever whatever you request, you require, like money, fame, things will be attracted into you because you are an attractive person. You made yourself an attractive person by doing the things you like and keep doing that and to be really good and to enjoy yourself so much and to be a very um, lucky person, you know? Yeah. Everyone likes to be with these kind of people. Mm -hmm. So you become one and people fall in love with you. They come after you and they, they learn from you. And you become a master and people learn from you and they become master and you see your grand disciples are running around there. You feel fucking good. <laughs> you know, like that. And of course, on the, pro on the process, you will make a lot of money. But that's not your target. You just enjoy the work. You just keep doing wh what you do, you know, yeah. to benefit yourself, to benefit others. You know, you just keep doing it. It's your destiny. Yeah, yeah. So it's very important to find your destiny before you actually select your subject. It's very important. Yeah. Excellent. Well, Master Jia, I want to thank you so much. You're welcome. For coming here with us today. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you. Um, yeah. And uh, if you want to know more about what it is that I do, you can check out my website. We're going to have a link to that in a second. You can contact me. Yes. Um, and if you want to learn more about the Kung Fu and the Qigong that I practice as it relates to what Master Zhao was talking about, being a compassionate badass or a badass with a good heart, yes. um, definitely get in touch with me and we will talk. Thank you. Thank you.